Anna, Ella, Caitlin, Mom. We are Year 11 journalism students from St Catherine's College Armagh. Today on our podcast we are here to inform you on the subject of gender equality. Gender equality is a state in which access to rights or opportunities is unaffected by gender. Despite all international and national efforts, over half of children out of school are girls. 31 million girls are still out of school around the world. It will take the poorest girls 60 more years to complete primary school than the richest boys. There are many campaigns around the globe to empower young females of today. For example, BBC 100 Women is to target and engage female audiences. BBC came up with the campaign that narrated stories of inspirational women around the globe. The content was translated into eight languages to reach out on a global audience. Another example is Always Like a Girl. A social experiment was conducted to change the idea of the age-old phrase, like a girl, which is usually taken in a negative light. The idea was to convert this very term into something that represents strength, talent, character and positivity. Emma Watson, Beyonce, Oprah, Adele and Michelle Obama are supporters of gender equality, just to name a few. The above women support this by defending men and women, regardless of insecurities, race and religion. The best countries for gender equality are Iceland, Norway, Finland, Sweden and Ireland. The World Economic Forum predicts it will be at least 100 years to fully achieve the gender equality goal. Men and women are equal human beings with needs and we should support this because it would be not right to not. We can support gender equality by spreading awareness, for example, advertisements, posters and brochures. We are here with Mrs McKeever, the Head of Religious Studies in St Catherine's College, Armagh, to get her opinion on gender equality. Do you think that men and women have got equal opportunities in the workplace? Um, I think now, um, yes. But... Again, it's not always straightforward. Um, only now females are present in the boardrooms of businesses. And I'm giving, going to give you an example of Karen Brady from The Apprentice. Um, but in, in some jobs, you have, you have gender um, equality and equal opportunities, like in teaching. Um, but there's still the pay gap issue, which is huge in some professions. Politics is also important where you have, in recent elections, parties were instructed to have at least 30% female candidates, and Sinn Féin are an example where both the president and the vice president are both female. Um, so you can see that. However, there are other cases like in the south, in the government, in the Dáil, there's only one female in the cabinet in Fine Gael, and there's no equality there. So you kind of see both, both sides of it. In terms of sport, it has moved on hugely. Sky Sports presenters, there's as many females as there are males, and that was not the case because what did females know about football? That would have been the thinking. You have got female lines per people, uh, Sean Massey being one in the Premier League. You've got ladies refs in the GEA and also in rugby. So sport and opportunities very much open then to, to women compared to how things were. Uh, do you think that men have equally chances to express their emotions? Uh, again, in theory but not in practice. I think men would have difficulty in expressing their emotions. There still is that stereotype of the alpha male and the hunter-gatherer and that you know men sometimes feel they're above that and they don't show their emotions. Um, again, the role has changed because men are much more domesticated now than they would have been. Husbands are more hands-on and compared to my father's generation, he would never have changed an abbey or done anything like that. And that was that's just the way things are. But women, I think, are still more likely to voice their emotions compared to men. So in theory, the opportunity is there for men but I don't think they're very good at using the opportunity. Do you think men and women have got equal opportunities in our society? Um, in theory, yes. In our generation particularly, yes. But like compared to my mother's generation, you know, they definitely did not. Um, I say in theory because 
people sort of think they can have it all, like be a mother and have a career, but sometimes it's practically not possible for that to be the case. You can still be torn between a career and motherhood, and that might always impact on some females. Um, so it's seldom today that you have the male that stays at home. What are your thoughts on gender equality? Um, my thoughts on gender equality are that it is essential in the 21st century that we have gender um, equality. For too long, it's been balanced in the favour of males, male species. Um, for example, in the mid-70s, when women got married in the south of Ireland, if they worked in public service, so if they were a civil servant, you know, a teacher, they had to give up their job. And that, only, that not only had implications then, but it also has implications now for their pension because they were forced to stop their job because they got married. So it is extremely important that we have equality today. What are your feelings on stereotypes within gender equality? Um, it, the stereotypes are wrong, but they're changing um, today. It's still present in female-dominated jobs and in male-dominated jobs, you know, that they still exist but there cannot be the obvious barriers anymore. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you have been educated about issues on gender equality.